Today, or in the pre-order for their VR today. Yeah, and I missed it, <laughs> which was disappointing. It's okay, I missed it also. Um, it's kind of cool because it's at a much better price point, three ninety nine. It's not bad. Ninety nine. Ninety nine. Um, four hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't. I hate. Hey, they do that three ninety nine. I mean, go ahead and add some Just tax. Make it about like four twenty or more. Four twenty. You know who likes four twenty? Snoop Dogg. I was gonna say probably Brad. Mm, Brad. The Magic Sex Squid. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, you know, it says it's going to be like 1080 and yeah. it, it looks pretty impressive. Uh, it's, it's probably the one of the three Oculus, uh, PlayStation and, uh, the Vive yeah. that will probably sell the most just because, uh, it hooks straight up to your console and you don't have to have a $1,500 computer to run it. Yeah. And like the Vive, you have to have basically an empty room oh, yeah. to play it in. Um... There's there's hasn't been a whole lot of games shown yet. I think we'll get a ton at E3 this year. Oh, I wouldn't doubt um, it. Even though pretty much everyone's pulled mm-hmm. out of E3 at this point, mm-hmm. <laughs> except oh, for the a lot, except for the main three, the console manufacturers. Yeah. Um. But uh. Yeah. I think we'll get a lot of that at E3 this year. Uh. They did show one thing that I'm pretty excited about. Uh. The Ace Combat game. Hmm. Uh. I think that would be a super cool experience. for flying around in a fighter jet Shoot. in VR. Yeah. Um, you know, I haven't experienced VR, and I'm sure you haven't either. I have not. I think it's one of those things you have to experience to be able to really get, uh, because, you know, I mean, that's what everyone has told me several times. Yeah, absolutely. So, so now I just believe it. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it, I want one. I, I will probably purchase one. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I can, and there's a couple of experiences on it. Mm-hmm. Um, something that was pretty cool that they did announce was the virtual theater yeah. that goes with it, so you can actually like watch a movie on your oh, PlayStation yeah. uh, VR. And what it does is it doesn't just like it doesn't just display the movie on the headset. Mm-hmm. It actually displays it as if you're in a theater. Oh, that's cool. So, like, it makes you feel like you're actually in a movie theater. So, okay. it, it, it's supposed to be a really cool thing. Yeah. Uh, I believe the Samsung Gear does the same thing. Yeah. Um, Gear VR. Do you have Do you have any opinions on VR? Anything you'd like to see from it? Uh, not really. Brad, um, this giant sex squid books. <laughs> that would projected. Be, that would be terrifying. Um, the. The only thing, the only one that I think will do as well as this one would be the Samsung one, only because they will start to sell it with their phone, and they will sell a lot of their phones. Yeah, weren't they doing something like you get it for, you can buy it for like a hundred bucks if you buy one of the phones here um, recently? Yeah, and then Walmart had one like if you pre-ordered and bought the S7 from them, you got a free virtual reality headset which is basically yeah. just the goggles and you snap the phone into the front of yeah it. yeah so it's not like the full deal because like in yeah. these other ones they it's actually it's two separate screens yeah one for each eye um so i mean and i think that's one of, one of the big concerns about the playstation one if it was gonna be straight the playstation was more strong enough yeah because obviously the ps4 is super weak compared to these 1500 dollars computers oh, yeah. you have to have to run the oculus and everything um, but it actually has like this little box that actually, so you plug it in and like the, the, it has like a little processor box, I mm-hmm. think that, uh, actually makes it to where you can actually also show what you're playing on the TV mm-hmm. and it makes it normalized on nice. the television. Yeah. Um, so like if I'm playing something in VR, you're I can not just it. watching me play it. You yeah. can also watch what I'm seeing. Oh, um, that's, that's cool. um, there's a couple of things that look really cool. There's one that's something like giant robot golf or something where <laughs> you're just a giant robot in a city playing golf. Yeah. I think that'd be really neat for a little while at least. Um, I don't think I could play these games longer than like 20 minutes. Yeah, I mean, I'll have to see. Uh, I feel like I, I get motion sick anyway, so something like this would probably just make me puke all over the place. Yeah, so for me it's not so much the motion sickness that I'm worried about, it's the feeling of total isolation. Yeah. Um, that, you know, I have no idea what's going on in the real world. Yeah. So it would have to be a pretty spectacular experience for me to be willing to come home. Because I live by myself. Uh, so it would have to be a pretty spectacular experience for me to be willing to come home where I live by myself, put this thing on, yep. and be completely isolated from the outside world. Sounds. Uh, vision. Like, you know. Gone. Yeah. Not knowing like if someone, I don't know, is 
get ready to murder me or yeah. something. Like, I could walk into your house and you would have no idea and I could be there for yeah. an hour if you're playing this thing for an hour and then you take it off and here I am sitting on your couch. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, my big concern, the only reason I think the PlayStation 1 might have trouble, and they might have announced it and I just haven't seen it yet, um, but, like, the obviously the Oculus and the Vive... I think you can, I mean, you're hooking it up to your PC, you're mm-hmm. going to be able to probably use third-party applications on them. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think at least the Oculus allows that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure the Vive does as well. Um, but, you know, the big thing that has always pushed technology in the last 30, 40 years is porn. Absolutely. Um, and, you know, if PlayStations is in a closed environment and I can't hook it up to a PC and watch porn on it, not that I necessarily want to, but I will... Um, I don't, I don't know if it's going to take off in the same way. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, as more content, more adult content gets made for that. Which it absolutely will. Uh, those things will start selling more. Cause I mean, there are people that spend that, you know, they look at a price of like the, the Oculus of those things like $600 mm-hmm. and to them, if they're going to use it for that purpose, even if they only use it for that purpose, mm-hmm. yep. uh, that's not a big deal. Yeah. You know. There's there, there's people that spend thousands of dollars on oh, yeah. that sort of entertainment. Uh, another thing that I would be really worried about um, in less of an adult area uh, is I, I don't think VR's main purpose is going to be gaming. I don't either. I think it's going to be more of like experience. Experiences um, like um, a rainforest somewhere that... Yeah, virtual virtual vacations that I can't personally afford to go to and visit these places. I can now go to. Yeah, uh, virtual vacations I think are going to be a huge thing. Uh, going through museums would be yeah. amazing. I mean, that would be awesome. Like to be able to go through and use your controller or whatever or mm-hmm. mouse or whatever to actually say like walk through the Louvre and then you turn and oh look, you're just like you're there. Yeah, that would be that would be amazing to be able to do that or to even like. To be able to design, like, for, like think of, like, an architectural thing mm-hmm. where you can actually design your own build. Like, freaking Minecraft, but, like, you know, yeah. not shitty blocks. You can walk through your you Minecraft make, creations. Yeah, and... make, walk through, like, but, like, a real-life style yeah. one instead. Um, and you can, like, decorate it however you want and everything. Kind of like how, like, Second Life was, you know, garbage, but, yeah. like, had that kind of ideal. Yeah. Something like that would be amazing. Um, um, it could be used for, like, uh, construction like home builders, like we're building mm-hmm. the house. Uh, they you can could have, have like a virtual the, tour of your particular like, home. Here's the house that you built. Here's the options you pick. Now walk through it. Yeah, I mean, you can even like want when they're building it. You can even use it to decorate your pre-decorate yeah. your home. Like, you I'm gonna go, put this picture here. Yeah, That's absolutely. what it's gonna look like. Absolutely. Um, the thing. Happy uh, home designer. Oh, virtual reality. Uh, to go back to the virtual experiences, um, the the thing that really excites me and I think they've already started to do this uh, or they've experimented with this is think about like live events mm-hmm. like I think it might have been the WWE who did this oh boy to where you actually put like a 360 camera uh-huh. in a front row seat yeah and you sell like that as the pay-per-view experience yeah. that you're gonna watch it on your you're gonna watch it on your that, VR yeah. unit and you're you're actually there, yeah. Like at an NFL game, ooh, the or, Super Bowl, yeah, the Super Bowl. <laughs> uh, you know, any kind of sporting event, a concert, yeah. Any of these things, you know, the Olympics, yeah. That you that you have this experience to where you're actually having that headset on and you're and you're there yeah. doing it. You hear it, both ears, see it. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be gaming. I think gaming would be a little rough. I mean, I think I think there will be some excellent games made for it, mm-hmm. uh, and I look forward to how it how it works out. Uh, I just don't think it's going to be the emphasis. I yeah. think a lot of the times when people are looking at you know, oh, VR gaming is going to be this or that, what they're really picturing is more like the Hollow Deck in Star Trek. Yeah, and that's not what VR is. Mm-hmm. Um, if we ever get a Hollow Deck, which would be amazing. Uh, but totally impractical because it has like all this matter conversion. Like the holodeck actually converts matter into these like uh, these these projections that are actually there because it's actual matter. It's really complicated. It's, it's Star Trek. It's not gonna happen because we can't just convert matter it's on the fly like that. 
Um, but like that, I mean, that's not what VR is going to be. No, uh, the Ace Combat thing's really good. Uh, mm. A racing game would be really That'd good be with it. Sweet. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna want to do things that are more first person. I don't know if a first person shooter would work out too well. Like, I, think I think that, that would make me would that would make me sick. sick. Uh, I think if you just look at a movie like that that first person trailer we watched uh-huh. uh, at the beginning of Deadpool. Yeah, can't remember what the movie's called. Nope. But just that Anything. trailer made me sick. Yeah, that trailer. And was I don't awful. get motion sick. Yeah, that um, trailer was rough. So I don't know if something with quick movements like that. It's more more uh, slower deliberate things. Mm-hmm. I think will work better. Um. Oh man, I, I'm just trying to think of some some different things. Uh, I mean, there's just so much that you could do. Uh, I think the Minecraft thing would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, but I guess they're going to stick towards their AR. Yeah. All which augmented reality. They call Hololens, but it's not holograms. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, um. But we'll see. I guess. Yeah. Like I I can sit down. I couldn't sit down and play a game on it like uh, Kingdom Hearts for two hours on this virtual reality thing but I can sit and walk through a museum for an hour well but I mean I don't why would you want to play a VR game yeah. where you're playing a third person as a third person character what if you and if, were Sora and if you are I mean and if you are Sora do you really want to play a game in the Kingdom Hearts no. style as a, in the first person view absolutely not and I would get sick yeah I, I don't I don't know how that would work, um, but I mean I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Uh, it's upon us. I think it'll still be a couple of years before it's a huge hit. Hmm. Um, Sony jumping in this year does help give it a lot of legitimacy. 